ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Western Racing. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the 2023 Hot Wheels Mainline J Imports series. Um, this is a series dedicated to, did pretty much dedicated entirely to Japanese cars. And uh, I'm going to be completely honest with you, not my favorite series for two reasons. One, the paint schemes on these cars are always horrible. And the reason why I believe that that is relevant is because I already know nothing about Japanese cars. So literally the main thing that I have to go off of with these vehicles is the paint jobs. So, you know, that's it's literally the only reason why this series would even be relevant to me is if they have good paint jobs and they don't. So, y you know, anyway. This will probably be, I know this is a 10 car series, but this video will probably be really quick because like I said, the paint jobs are horrible. And because I'm not really, I really don't like any of these vehicles, it should be nice and quick. I really have nothing to talk about, but you know me, I am the, the master of filler. So we'll see. Anyways, just let's just get right into things here. We're gonna start with number one of 10, which is actually on the screen right in front of you, right there. It is the Nissan Patrol Custom, probably my favorite vehicle. Well, that's not true. Probably my second favorite vehicle in this entire set, honestly. It is pretty neat. So the Nissan Patrol Custom here is a, I guess like an off-road rescue vehicle, you could say. I really don't know what to tell you this thing is. Again, pretty bland paint job in general, but uh, yeah. There is no chase piece in this series, by the way, so we don't gotta worry about that. Thank goodness. Don't need to pad for time by uh, looking for a chase piece. That would be a pain in the rear, but anyways. We'll throw the cards right there. So let's get this thing kicked off and ready to go. This is the Nissan Patrol Custom, number one of 10 for the J imports. Um, first off, I thought because these were Japanese import cars, the steering wheel would be on the opposite side of the vehicle, but I guess not. Um, I will say I really like this vehicle just simply because of the fact that it is a uh, off-road vehicle and I do like off-road vehicles. I am a truck guy part-time um we have an ivory colored body a black chassis black tires with dark gray rims and smoked window inserts the side panel as you can see here says hot wheels hill climb race team nissan patrol we got these really cool black and orange stripes looks like the auto zone logo actually it's the knm logo now that i look at it right there and mo tool written on the side flip over to this side it's the exact same thing but mirrored i almost dropped a car on the floor that would have been embarrassing exact same thing but mirrored you can see this really cool front end right here. I am an idiot. I just realized this is a new for 2023 car. So let me read the back of the package for you. Um, I forgot that I do this now. Right here, Nissan Patrol Custom. Born 1992 in Japan. The designer is Nissan. Scale the toughest sand dune in this Middle Eastern inspired competition racer. Glue your foot to the gas and get up to 2,000 horsepower in this light and powerful sand beast. So it is a sand... Uh, truck by the looks of things which i think is really interesting take a look at that nissan front end right there looks really cool and the top has the two k and n stripes and it does say nissan on there which looks really cool not on the back end you can see the spot for a spare tire but there is no spare tire and that is the door to open the back end there is nothing in the back by the looks of things and there is the bottom so there you go that is vehicle number one for today's video the nissan patrol custom and I, there you go, I dropped the car. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's basically the speed that I want to keep throughout this video. Just that nice little calm and uh, yet informational speed right there. I will say real quick before we get too far into this video that uh, that vehicle right there, the Nissan Patrol Custom, I think would make a really great contender in a future uh, Tough Trucks video that I might do here on the channel. I also want to point out, because I completely missed this, let me zoom back in here. The engine here is completely exposed on the front end, and I don't know why I didn't show that the first time around, but that is really cool that they have that little detail there. Let's zoom back out real quick before we get into our next car, which is, again, a shining example of why I hate the uh, J Import series, because the cars are never interesting by any means. Like, they literally just look like dealership vehicles that would fit better in the Factory Fresh series. Case in point, number two of ten, the Subaru WRX STI. This would make more sense in the Factory Fresh series. It literally looks fresh off the Factory 4. I get it. It's a Japanese car. But still, they could have done something interesting with the paint job. This thing looks boring as freak. The new-aged vehicles that Hot Wheels does, I really think they should try and go for more creative paint jobs on them if they're not doing them in the uh, 
factory fresh series because you know older vehicles can kind of hold their own because they automatically look good this does not look good this just looks like you know a mom vehicle this looks like a soccer mom vehicle let's all be honest with ourselves here i wish my camera had a setting to automatically jump to three zoom but it does not so we have this really dark blue paint scheme here a black chassis black tires with white rims and blacked out window inserts the side panel has the Hot Wheels logo with this white stripe right here, and that's the same on this side. Because this vehicle does not have barely any detail on it, they actually put some detail on the front end. Give you two headlights and a red uh, Nissan logo right there. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much the entirety of the detail you get on this car. They didn't even bother putting anything on the back end. Honestly, if I was a WRX STI fan, this would be probably really infuriating because they barely put anything into this car, die or paint job wise. There's the bottom. And uh, there you go, that is the second car, the Subaru WRX STI. Pretty basic. I do believe we got one of these in the last uh, winter series. I do believe the video that I just made for the Hot Wheels winter series, I'm pretty sure actually had that car in it. And the, like I said, the paint job was really cool. That really falls flat flat. Speaking of falling flat, this thing, this thing's only saving grace is that it actually kind of looks genuinely interesting. I really do kind of like the look of this one. Number three of 10, we have the 2023 Nissan Z. And I don't have any clue what this is. I looked on the back, there's no description because the original version of this car obviously came out in the uh, 2022 mainline for some reason. And yeah, that would be if I ever complete the series that the original version of this car is in. I will uh, give you guys the rundown on what this car is all about because I really don't know. But anyway, here we go. This is the Nissan Z right here. It looks really, like I said, looks wise, I really like this one. It looks pretty neat, not gonna lie. So we've got that same dark blue color on the paint scheme, black chassis, black tires with black rims and that blacked out window insert. Uh, it's pretty much the exact same setup as the vehicle that we just looked at. There's no detail on the side panel on either side. The main detail is on the front end. We got the Nissan logo with the two headlights, which looks really good. A very solid looking vehicle. And then the back end says Nissan. We got the black bar there with the two taillight setups. Really, this again should also be a vehicle in the Factory Fresh series. If they're not going to bother putting a good paint scheme on it, why bother putting it in the JDM series, I guess? Well, this is really a Japanese import series. I really, J JDM stands for Japanese District Muscle, right? Right? That's what that stands for, right? I, it's kind of relevant considering what video I'm uploading after this, but uh, yeah. So there you go. That is our third vehicle for today's video. I promise we're going to get into some interesting ones here in a little bit. But uh, yeah, take a look at that. We're only eight minutes into the video and we've already gotten through three cars. Normally I'd be on car number one still right now because I'd be blabbering. Now we're going to get into a good car. This is actually a car that I will genuinely say I really like. I really like this style of vehicle because it's a wagon. And this is the Nissan Maxima Drift Car, number 4 of 10. The paint scheme on this one is actually pretty solid, not going to lie. I actually really enjoy the paint scheme. So let's get her open and take a look at this thing. I don't know why all the cars try to roll away from it. It's like, I hate JDMs. Let's get out of here. <laughs> all right, here we go. Zoom in to three. Oops, that was a little too far. It's fine. And here we go. So we've got a really nice cherry red body, a black chassis, black tires with silver rims, and then smoked window inserts. We've also got the window insert goes onto the hood there, which is really interesting. Um, this is not what I thought it was. I was thinking of the uh, other drift car that they did, the Datsun. The Datsun 350 drift car, I think is what it was. I don't know. That casting's a bit different than this one. This one's pretty cool. I really do like this casting, actually. Uh, like I said, I am a sucker for wagons. I don't even care the nationality of which they come from. This Nissan wagon right here, I like this wagon. It's a good wagon. Um, the side panel, as you can see, says Nissan. We've got a black bar here. Hot Wheels. Uh, editor, would you translate that piece right there and put it into the video for us? Thank you. Again, I don't know what that means, but hopefully the editor has uh, written that down for us. We got a star here with a white stripe. Same thing on this side. I imagine this said the same thing. Hopefully a Hot Wheels actually put in the detail to write the lettering correctly. I don't know if you guys knew this, but in the last video, uh, Hot Wheels uh, mainline video we did, we looked at the Haulers series. And that one, the Chase Piece vehicle, had something written in Japanese on the side of it. It said Hot Wheels in Japanese. And it was correct this way, but then when you flip the car this way, it also said Hot Wheels, but they mirrored the lettering. They took the word, it'd basically be like if they took the word Nissan here and flipped it, mirrored it, and wrote it on the side of the vehicle. 
It's like they didn't consider it writing like the Hot Wheels logo. They considered it part of the image and flipped it. It was, that is such a hilarious blunder. I don't know how you screw that up. That is amazing. But uh, yeah, that's the detail. They're exactly the same on this side. I really like the front end there. That is a massive spoiler, holy God. The hood is see-through, another detail that I think is really cool. I've always been a fan, if you're gonna do a, if you're gonna have a visible engine in your vehicle, don't just get rid of the hood completely. Cut the hole in it like this and do the see-through piece. I think that looks really cool. So that way you still get that muffled noise when you run the engine and it's not like booming and loud. I think that's really cool looking. Sunroof, the top of the vehicle has some lightning bolts on it. Editor, does that say the same thing? Actually, never mind. I just figured it out myself. That does say the exact same thing on it. So that's really good that they uh, got that there. So you guys should know what that say. No license plate on the back. And there's the bottom. So there you go. That's the first vehicle I've really put any thought into this video is the Nissan Maxima drift car. And I think it's worth it. I genuinely would say this is a really cool looking car. Alrighty. On to the next vehicle. This one right here was easily the hardest to find. Out of every vehicle in the set, this was the hardest one to locate in stores. Number five of 10, the Nissan Skyline GTR R32. And I think you can see why this one was so hard to find. One, it's a Nissan Skyline GTR, which I know is a highly sought after casting, but Godzilla. This is an officially licensed Godzilla vehicle, which is freaking awesome. That is so cool. I absolutely love that so much. Um, also, it's number 69 of 250. I just keep finding reasons as to why this car was so sought after. Nissan Skyline GTR, Godzilla license, and it's number 69. Could this thing get more perfect? Maybe. Let's take a look. Um, let's get her open. Okay, so I think this one's pretty cool. Uh, these are all cars that we've seen before. None of these are really all that new. I do find it funny though, we're gonna do this car and then the car immediately after this, you'll probably get a chuckle out of because it is a very fun car. So here you go, everybody. Take a look at this. This is really cool. And perfect timing, by the way, because that Godzilla Minus One movie just came out recently. So perfect timing for a Godzilla car, am I right? We've got this really cool speckled paint scheme with the gray speckles and everything looks really cool. Hot Wheels logo there. Godzilla written on the side, very, very neat. We've got these uh, these blue uh, like claw marks going down the side. You got the Kaiju himself right there shooting the uh, electric blue flames out of his mouth, plasma or whatever it is with these little uh, black little shine right here. I don't know what that says on the site. Editor, once again, please translate that and put it on the video for us. Thank you. Uh, this site is exactly the same, but mirrored. They actually flipped the lettering on the uh, foreign language there. Is that Japanese? I don't know if that's Japanese. <laughs> Editor, once again, is that Japanese? Thank you. I've, I'll look at it and post, I guess. Oh, by the way, we got a white body, a black chassis, black tires with dark gray rims, and black window inserts, which is really cool. They're blacked out. They're like perfectly dark. The front end is pretty cool looking. Gotta love that. Got a cool looking spoiler on the back, and they actually did a detail the back end. Nissan Skyline GTR right there, and then the tail lights. Really cool. Here is the bottom of that one, and there you go, everybody. That is the halfway mark for the video. So that was vehicle number five right there. Now it is time we get into vehicle number six. We are now going into the second half for the video. Vehicle number six of 10 is probably one of the most hilarious looking things I've ever seen. I really can't even tell you what this is right here. This is the 1986 Toyota van. And good God, does this thing look goofy as heck. Holy crap, is this thing ridiculous looking. Gotta love it though. Let's get her open. The paint scheme, by the way, immediately reminded me of the motorhome from Breaking Bad. I don't know if anybody else thought of that, but that's where my brain immediately went. Absolutely hilarious. I wonder if this is a reference to, I wouldn't think they'd do that. On a kid's toy, I wouldn't think so. It would be hilarious if this was meant to be a reference to Breaking Bad, but I don't think it is. Anyway, so here it is right here. It looks like an Astro van, honestly, it really does. Really cool looking. So we got a sandy, uh, sandy body, black chassis, black tires with gray rims, and then smoked window inserts. The front end does say Toyota on it right there. I don't know why I went to the front end first. And then we got the, uh, the AutoZone colors right here. We got the brown, the red, and the orange stripes going. Two layers of the stripes, by the way, right there, looking really good. You got the vent and everything with the doors on the side. This side's exactly the same, but mirrored. If we go to the front, we got the Toyota logo there. The window insert does scoot down, so we have headlights as well, which looks really cool. 
And then flipping over to the back, Toyota right there. The Hot Wheels logo is in the license plate. And then of course we've got the fully decked out uh, tail lights. I've got some scratching right there. That doesn't look too good with the reverse, the blinker, the and the uh, backup lights there, which looks really cool. There's the bottom. This is a very light car, by the way. Very, very, very light vehicle. But anyway, that is the Toyota van. Like I said, flying through these cars right now. All right, everybody contain yourselves because I know this is going to absolutely make people lose their minds. If anybody is here for a vehicle, it's this one right here. The 1990 Honda Civic EF. Um, I will say, not bad paint scheme on this one. I really do think the paint scheme on this one's pretty solid. Again, not a fan of Honda Civics or anything, but... I do think that that is a pretty solid paint scheme on this vehicle right here. Let's zoom in, shall we? We'll, we'll zoom in before we do the car here. Well, we'll try anyways. There we go. And there it is. Got a tomato red, tomato bisque colored body here. Really red. Looks really good. You got a chrome chassis. Our first chrome chassis of the video. Every single vehicle has had a black chassis. Black tires with chrome rims. And then we have this really cool darkened window insert. Um, as you can see, it says VTEC, Civic, and Hot Wheels on this little white line right here in black uh, lettering. Black stripe there. This side is exactly the same, but mirrored. The front end has some headlights on it, as you can see, with the Honda logo right there. And the back end does not have much other than a tailpipe sticking out. Here is the bottom. That is shiny. Holy crap. I don't know how well you guys can read that, but go ahead and try if you must. And uh, yeah, there you go. That is the Honda Civic. Like I said, we're really flying through these because I really don't know what to say about these vehicles. They are not my expertise by any means. But yeah, that is the Honda Civic right there. Like I said, pretty solid paint scheme. Again, I know nothing about the car, but a pretty solid paint scheme on that one. Now this one right here is hilarious to me. And I, I, I immediately chose this as my favorite car of the video because of one reason and one reason only. And it is an incredibly stupid reason, let me tell you what. This is the 1973 Honda Civic Custom. Now, the reason why I chose this as my favorite vehicle, look at it. It is literally a Japanese version of Mr. Bean's car, his Mini Cooper. It's just a Japanese version. If he didn't drive a Mini Cooper, he would have painted a freaking Honda Civic to look exactly the same. It is literally the same thing, just a different nationality. It's literally the whole reason why this is my favorite car. Plus, I'm not going to lie, the X's in the headlights. I don't know why, but I really like that for some reason. And I, like I said, I really couldn't tell you why I like that, but I do. I think that's a neat little detail. Would I ever do it to a car that I drive? No, but I still think it's cool. Also, because this is the first vehicle of its type, we'll zoom in and read the card, you know? Have a little fun, read the card. All right, the 1973 Honda Civic Custom. Born 1973 in Japan, the developer is Honda. With our customized Civic, you can bring the 70s style into the 21st century as you roam the open road with flared wheel arches, low suspension, and two rally spec spotlights. Flared suspension, you say, that is interesting. All righty. Here's the car. We got a lime green body, a black chassis, black tires with dark gray rims in the back and black rims in the front. And we have a blue window insert. Finally, a different colored window insert. Uh, there's nothing on either of the side panels, but that's not what matters. What matters is the front end here with all the detail. We got a blackout, blacked out hood here and the hood vent is in green. Got the Honda logo right there in the center. We got the two pieces of grill. The headlights with the black X's in it, Honda on the license plate. As you can see, we have some yellow uh, rally spec headlights, as well as these big rally headlights right here, which are actually made out of the uh, window insert, which I think is really cool. That that right there is a detail. In the back, we got a spoiler coming off the back end. Civic, Honda, Hot Wheels in the uh, license plate. We got the two sets of taillights and we have R right there, the Honda Civic R, you know what I mean? And then here is the bottom right there. So there you go, everybody. That is my personal favorite out of all the cars in this set, the Honda Civic Custom. Two Civics in a row, by the way. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not, but I sure as heck did. All right. Um, this next one I actually kind of like a little bit just because it is a very, it kind of gives me a European feel, if you know what I mean. Like this vehicle feels European for some reason. And that is the 1968 Mazda Cosmo Sport. Um, like I said, it gives me a European vibe. And I know it's, like I said, none of these vehicles 
are European. They're all Japanese, but for some reason, this one really gives me that European EU vibe. You know what I mean? You probably have no idea what I'm talking about, and I probably sound crazy. All righty. Here we go. The Mazda Cosmo Sport. We got an orange body with a white chassis, black tires with silver rims, and clear window inserts, which looks really cool. Uh, for details on the side, we got a white stripe right here, and we have a white Hot Wheels logo, and that is it. Same thing on this side, but mirrored. The front end has quite a bit of detail on it. Um, as you can see, we got the Mazda emblem right there with Cosmo written right there. Got the two headlights with some white stripes, and you got the grill right there. In the back, we have absolutely nothing. That's cool. Um, this vehicle does have the steering wheel on the correct side of the car, though, which I think is interesting. So it really fits that import vibe. And then 1968 Mazda Cosmo Sport. So there you go. I really, I would honestly say this is probably, I'd say ranking wise, I'd probably put this as my fourth favorite in the case. I still think my favorite is the uh, Civic Custom. Second favorite is probably the, uh, drift car that we saw the maroon or the cherry red drift car third place is probably the nissan patrol this one gets fourth place for me i think i really do like this so uh, we'll zoom back out to one and in case you guys were keeping track that was number nine which means our final car is right now number 10 of 10 which i would argue is the worst car in this entire set this car, in my opinion, is my least favorite out of all of them, and it is the 1988 Honda CRX. Um, yeah, I really don't like this. It's just, it's bland, in my opinion. The other, like, you know, the uh, the two that we saw that were just had an all blue paint job, those I could at least see in the uh, Factory Fresh series looking good. This one, in general, I just don't think looks good. I really don't like the style on this one, and that's just me. So let's zoom in. We have a uh, just a matte silver body, matte gray body, black chassis, black tires with gold rims, and then we have the darkened uh, window inserts, which looks really cool. Also, that red interior looks really neat too. Uh, the side panel says CRX in black. We got the Hot Wheels over there. We've got the same color setup as some of the other vehicles we've seen with the uh, black, the red, and the orange right there. Nothing too crazy, same thing on this side, just mirrored. The front end has absolutely no detail on it, much like we would expect from Hot Wheels. Back end, however, has the Honda logo black, uh, license plate holder, and then the tail light bar with the CRX in the middle. And there's the bottom. So there you go, everybody. That is the final vehicle that we're gonna look at in today's video, the Honda CRX. And with that, let's get to the turntables and close this friggin' video out so that way I can get these Japanese cars out of my face and uh, just to record another video uh, with uh, more Japanese cars. You'll see what I mean uh, here in an hour after this video gets uploaded. Anyway, that's enough yapping. To the turntable.
there's all 10 of them right there. From left to right, I'm gonna try and memorize. I, I don't have any of these memorized, so this is gonna be a lot of fun to see if I can remember. Here we go, from left to right, we have the Nissan Patrol Custom, the Subaru WRX STI, the Nissan Z, I think is what that one is. We have the Nissan Drift Car, the uh, Nissan Skyline, three Nissans in a row, that's interesting. The Nissan Skyline there in white, the Toyota Van, the Honda Civic, the Honda Civic Custom, the, oh God, what is that? That's the, uh, oh shoot, what is that thing? I think Proton, the Proton. No, that's not right. What is that thing called? Shoot, Cosmo, Cosmo, the uh, something Cosmo. Nissan Cosmo? That doesn't sound right. Ah, crap, now I gotta look. It's the uh, Mazda, Mazda Cosmo, that's what it is, okay. And then the last one there is the, uh, shoot, I'm really doing bad, the Honda CRX, that's what that one is. So there you go, everybody, that is the full set of vehicles. I don't know why the Honda CRX is deciding to stand out there. It's not special, if anything, it's the least special out of all of these, but uh, yeah, there we go, that's all 10 of them. Like I said, I really do not have a lot to say. These are cars that I legitimately know nothing about, so I'm not going to waste too much time. However, I will say that if you really like Japanese cars and you want to stick around on the channel, the video that I am literally uploading after this is the 2022, sorry, 2023 Hot Wheels JDM Special themed series. So, yeah, we're, I'm literally doing another five Japanese cars after this. If, as if I, you know, didn't, as if I don't like Japanese cars enough, I'm doing another five after this. But hopefully that means I'll be done with Japanese cars in general for a while. Hopefully. Probably not. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next video here on uh, Weston Racing. Thank you all and good night.